How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking AFL 23 and I'm going to show you one of the games that I played last night on the latest update because I wanted to give you guys an update on where the game's at currently, what I think it needs to do and uh, how I think it can improve. So this is Richmond v Melbourne, hard difficulty on the patch last night on PC. I think it should be out on PlayStation now as you are seeing this video. So it's clear that obviously AFL 23 is improving since its release. Um, the biggest issue at the moment is still that the game crashes um, and it's definitely like super unacceptable that this is uh, crashing this much. I think PS4 users are copying it the worst, PS5 uh, next worst on that list. Um, PC, I've had maybe one or two crashes on PS5. I'm probably getting one about every hour or so on average. Um, and given we're seeing a lot of change happening, especially with patches on a daily basis, I think it's a decent achievement that they're actually continuing to give a stable enough build that goes out. But you could argue that it's not stable enough given that it keeps crashing um, fairly regularly. Um, but I want to talk about obviously the game and the gameplay itself. And uh, it's can very conflicting depending on what you read online. Some people are enjoying it. Others are saying it's completely broken. Um, and I had my say on this last night on stream. So I'll kind of reiterate a few of the points that I was talking about there. Um, and the first one is I think currently as it is, is that the barrier of entry is currently too difficult. Um, it is a, it's a difficult game to play. Um, if you are inexperienced. And I say, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that most people who play AFL games are fairly casual gamers. You know, they're not professional gamers. They don't play the high-end stuff like Street, Street Fighter Smash, uh, Fortnite in build mode, etc. I think they're probably more likely to be playing FIFA, NBA, Call of Duty stuff with fairly simple controls and systems. And now I'm not saying I'm a pro gamer either, but I've clearly played more of those high-paced high games um, and I've, I've played like competitive Fortnite build mode and stuff. So like I am better suited to be in a high-paced game environment, um, which is currently what AFL 23 is, uh, in comparison. So I'm not a pro gamer, but I don't think I'm like someone who is also incompetent and like once, if I find something difficult, I try to work through that process logically. I think at the moment, the barrier of entry is too difficult. So a lot of people are just putting it down going, this game sucks. And they're probably a little bit bad at it as well. The biggest improvement uh, from the original release to now is obviously the AI actually does things. They tackle you, they spoil, they try to mark the ball. They don't. They aren't super overpowered with their positioning. Um, we looked through some positioning things from center bounce in the patch from yes from before yesterday versus the patch yesterday. Clearly, the defensive systems were actually working properly in the latest build compared to the previous one, where the players sort of just switched around and there was a lot of free area of free players everywhere so it should be a bit more one-on-one -on -one because of that there should be better matchups because of that um, ball movement has also been a big improver especially handballing and players not breaking stride when they're getting a handball receive uh, also tackling has had some really big strides as well uh, less big strides than the teleporting ones obviously um, but there's now you know the, the ability to miss tackles and um, if you are good enough in the contest, there are still times where I feel like tackling is not working as intended. So I still think it needs a bit of work there. And I'm yet to actually see how it works in a in a PvP environment. I haven't played online, so I don't know how it works there. Um, as I think that's probably going to be the real tester as to whether tackling has made like the, the most dramatic improvement. If it is working really good in online, then that's the best place for it to be. Um, currently, it's not terrible, not great. In the middle, needs work, but is better than what it was. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to talk about here is sort of the difficulty, and, and that's kind of what I talked about as well, is uh, I think the difficulty actually just needs to be fixed at the moment. Hard is harder than hardest. Easy seems to be more difficult than medium. Uh, depending on who you are and what you're doing, some things seem easier. Personally, I found hard is the hardest difficulty. At this point, hardest, I win by like six goals harder. Hard, I like might tie the game or, or win it by a couple of goals. Um, so yeah, that still needs work. There's still plenty of other bugs that I'm not going to even talk about. Um, but I will obviously send through the feedback and kind of like, if you are playing the game at this point, you're a little bit like a tester because the, the rapid rate that the game is improving. It is literally, they are just getting tons and tons of QA data in there for people to, the programmers to be able to change the game based on the feedback of the players. So it's still kind of, it's, it's a, not a great spot for it to be in, but it's, better that they're actually listening to us and that there is 
uh, changes being made. Also, you can now bounce the ball using uh, L3, which I think is exactly what it was in Evo 2. Great. And lastly, before I jump into the commentary of the game that I'm actually playing, um, if you are on the fence about buying this game, um, this is this is what I'll say to you. At, at this point, it's in a playable enough state to enjoy it, but you have to be good enough at it. You can't like just yell and scream at your TV. So there is certainly the aspect of a lot of people who aren't going to enjoy it at this point. Um, and if you are playing it now and you are, you know, I guess, communicating with the developers or putting support tickets into Big Ant, like you're going to reap the rewards of, of seeing that development unfold at a, at a daily rate, which is what it's currently doing. It'll probably slow down as we get through the next week or so once it's in a more stable position. Um, but if that does not sound fun to you and you're like, I just want the game to be as best as it can before I buy it, wait it out. Um, wait wait it out at least a week or two, see what's changed once there's more stuff in the game, once pro teams available, and then and then reconsider your decision and have a look at it then. Because they're sort of the, that, that's sort of the two things that are going on right now. There's either people who are, are playing it, enjoying it and, and working with that development part of it. Um, and there are obviously people who are playing it, not enjoying it and going, this is terrible, I hate it. Leave me alone. Anyway, that's all I kind of have to say on this. Um, I'm not going to stream for the next little while um, because I'll just be very busy. Um, but if you did want to see anything that I said, go back and watch my stream last night. And it's a very long one, but you can just catch the AFL bits. Um, I provide a lot of feedback as to what I experience in the game in there as well. But that's it. Enjoy the uh, the last the, this this game. It's a, it's a cracker. Cracking comeback. Skill. Oh, at least that was a bit of tackle pressure. The tackle pressure has lifted. That was a missed tackle. Oh, Dustin. Punch! Oh no, get up! Get up! Oh, I hope that missed. Oh, thank God he did. I needed another quick goal here. Aureoli must have. Yes! Oh, I don't know if he's got the journey here, Jet. Might have to go the barrel. Go the barrel. Good luck. Oh, can he snag it? Rewold, it's on its way. It's not there. Lynch, double the goal square. This for a four goal to zip third term. Lynch 15 out directly in front. He's put it through. It's a 14 point ball game. The tackle pressure has been elite in this term compared to the first two. Is there room for one more? Room for one more! Need a mark! He's got it! <laughs> right on three-quarter time. Rewalt 40 out directly in front to bring it back to just an eight-point ball game. Sausage. Five goals to one. So it was a five goals straight to one behind term. Tackles, we had one in the first half, seven in the third, six in the third term. Uh, Contested ball, we were only minus one for the quarter. Under pressure and Clearly. make sure you take the correct option. Against Stephen I mean, May. Oh, good tackle again. Punch. No. Oh, this is not the start I'd like. The D's get the first to last. Ben Brown. Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. Oh, he's got it just. Snuck it in. Why is Steve mate at centre bounce? That's a great question. One, No one knows the answer to. D's are trying something a bit different. Yeah. Through the middle hopper. Got away from his man. Out to Dustin Martin from 50. Serpson. Oh, no he was there. Who's was this, Baker? It sits, and he's in business. Jack. The Tigers have been gallant. Thumped away. Kick it. Bolton. What are you doing? Almost an accidental intercept. Oh, you can't miss that now. There we go. <laughs> what the fuck was he doing with the first kick? <laughs> Tim. Kick it off the deck, Tim. Oh, he's kicked it on the full. Oh, go. Tim, why would you soccer it? Pick it up, you big galoot. Kick it off the dick. Oh. Out the middle, you big galoot. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock, boys. Gorn has wrapped tirelessly. Viney, he'll be annoyed by Clearance. Jack. 
Oh, this to bring it back to just two points. Of what was a game I 30 something. The assignment is simple. And he Straight through the middle. Oh, the drama. The drama. The two big men do battle. Hopper, Jackson. Oh, Hopper sends a long ball. Samson! <laughs> Yeah, now what a clearance. <laughs> this for the lead. Oh, he's kicked it. Samson has given Richmond the lead with a minute 18 on the clock. Oh, it's straight to Tim. That's a blast kick. It's going to hold up. Come on, Dusty. Come on, Dusty. Fend him off! Oh no! Put on the boot! Oh, that is elite. How did he get a kick away then? Marlon goes short to Lynch! King hell, that is just elite skill. Can we just appreciate this Dustin Martin kick? I try to fend. <laughs> He's just thrown it on the shoe. <laughs> Real desperation stuff. Real desperation stuff. Tommy Lynch, Tommy Lynch, Tommy, Tommy Lynch for a 10-point lead. Needs that to come He's back. got it. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's five points. Sure you get the next one. <laughs> it's a five-point ball game. <laughs> and there's 43 seconds on the clock. This would be the most Richmond thing ever to lose this. Away he goes. Oh, he's just kicked it straight into Lynch. The Around the corner. Oh, 15. Oh, the dribble kick's gone half a metre. What are you doing? Dustin, tell him to... Oh, he's fucking sake. Oh, no. And they'll be away now. 23 seconds on the clock. Here go the Ds. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can sense trouble unfolding. Hit it to the boundary. That's a good spoil of Lostin. Get him! Oh, that's a game-saving tackle. Five seconds! Five seconds. Can the Ds get a quick, quick kick? Inside 50. Gone out the back. Oliver picked it up. Gets a handle to Viney. Viney inside 50. Tyron! Oh, that's classic footy. Yeah, I'd be filthy like that too. If you lost that game. <laughs> Look at the worm, the second half. Jesus. An eight goal to one second half. Yellow and black. Even clearances. I actually won contested ball in the last quarter. I was minus, I think, 13 at the half. So plus, plus three in the final term.